You know, while I'm here and I don't have to actively uh, communicate with chat at the moment, I think I'm just gonna talk a bit about what exactly inspired me to start streaming. Just who my idols are, pun intended. I have a lot of different inspirations from why I decided, you know, just to throw my hat into the ring, be a, yet another voice screaming. My um, main one was actually a couple of smaller channels back in the day, as I already talked about. The two main ones being Crowdy and uh, Ruma. As those were basically just my older stomping ground, if that makes sense. Like, I was a well-known regular in those channels, and everything was just really tight-knit. But... What makes me hesitant is those channels never actually grew with that mod, so it's always felt like everyone knew everyone there. So if you're a new face, it was kind of just like point at the stranger and laugh moment. Which, you know, was kind of difficult to get over at first, but then you grow over it, you get used to it. And before you know it, you just get a sub to this family as well. I want like a similar type experience for anyone watching. For anyone we watching these. And then, the reason why I became a VTuber is actually uh, a lot of different reasons. One, my webcam's absolutely potato quality. I do not feel like having to, uh... And I feel like I want to have some, like, avatar of myself speaking when I do, so it's not just voiceover. Also, it's easier to troubleshoot <laughs> that, that stuff, too. Like, a good chunk of it is actually a Shinwe. Because he just has a very comforting uh, armor around him. And kind of like broke the whole preconception I had about VTubers that they all had to be high pitched anime girls just squealing about when this buff fucking Yowie Hands guy can be a VTuber and have a logical form win. Hell, including me. And they kind of show me that you don't have to be the exact stereotype of a VTuber to be a successful VTuber and have a following. Like, you just have to be yourself and be comfortable with who you are. And people will naturally just want to watch anyways. It also show that being a VTuber, you can do a lot more stuff than just actual webcam and all that, because webcam you're kind of constrained to the limitations of your room. A VTuber, you get tired of your background, you can just open up MS Paint real fast, and then just draw a sunset. Which I find incredibly freeing, as it sounds like, I don't have to think about this no more, let's go, woo, go me. Like, I'm tired of my surroundings, I simply just changed my background as we know it. What's that? I need to have a, a new backdrop for me to talk about, and I don't want to spend like a hundred bucks buying decoration. Simple. Look up Google Image Office Background. <laughs> Doesn't help that uh, YouTube has also become a lot more affordable nowadays as well, so... That's another punt re reason. So I am broke as hell. And I don't want to drop too much. Although I know it's kind of weird. It's like, I'm broke as hell, yet here I am trying to do something. That requires extensive money. But like... Okay. But, uh, hey, I'm not the smallest, okay? But like... Another, like, major just inspiration as well for why I even wanted to try influencing others was actually Technoblade, weirdly enough. Just because I really liked his sense of humor as, like, growing up. Just, everything about him, I just wanted to be like. And, well, he passed, so... I wanted to, like, have that same type of energy just day-to-day, -day, basically. Just going out, I just... One being an absolutely fucking menace to society. Like how I still quote him, Davey. Although, of course, I know I'll never actually stand up to how he was, but like, 
I shouldn't try to, at least. Wow, Mal, he fell flat. Get flanked. Nod. Cool, cool. But anyways, those are just like my smaller inspirations why you decide to start streaming. And also being a VTuber as a whole. Now, like, once I have started streaming, I now know why people do. Because the feeling of just having an audience to interact with and people you know are real and you can talk to, it's just satisfying. It feels like it's gone full circle and I've just made like a full 180 from that little 13 year old brat in a random streamers chat just fucking around blasting minecraft parody songs with channel tokens now someone who is actively talking just the audience and just want to provide a similar experience to that although now i know that the more sincere i try to sound about something the uh less sincere it'll come off as so like i'm kind of just gonna shut up about it now but like I will never stop being thankful for people who watch my content. And I'm just happy if I made at least one of you guys smile. As long as I made someone smile at the end of the day, whether it's rough and rat me, with me, for me, whatever, it makes it all worth it at the end. That made it too awkward now. Wait, fuck, I'm supposed to be the funny plant streamer. Uh, 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 soundboard. God damn it, soundboard's gone. Oh, fuck. Wait, it's like, I'm not supposed to be serious. No one in the script it says I have to be serious. What the? Me? <laughs> I got too serious for a moment. You guys probably don't really care to see me just like talk out my gut, talk out my heart, and spill it. I may be a bit presumptuous as you guys are in my stream after all. Imaginary audience. Yes, Jeff, I am talking to you. Pay attention. I have beef with everyone named Jeff. I could just put a pumpkin on my back line, but this is easier. I have over a thousand sun. I don't think I need to uh, have that many sunflowers now. now that I'm here and that this is a good time for introductions as anything just talking a bit about my life before I became a streamer my past life if you will just there's not a whole lot to say I was born June 22nd my uh, zodiac signs cancer and uh, my hobbies um gaming no shit and also d d Oh, that's kind of taking a back seat as of late. Oh, though D&D was a major fucking hobby to me, to the point where I founded my own high school as a D&D &D club and ran it for, like, all four years. I have a lot of weird-ass stories went to the club, and I still talk to some club members today. 
Which is a bit weird because I'm a full ass grown adult and now they're just minors. So now I'm just like, what do I do? Do I just give up this? I can't just like be talking to minors now, can I? <laughs> like, I could just wait like a couple years and then become full ass grown adults too, but then like. I'll probably be out of contact by then and be in Japan, so like it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'll probably fall out of contact by then, all things considered, so it doesn't. I guess. Although, like, I had to do like a whole ass fucking session battle, like, last year for in the club. Like, my last year. Cause, well, I graduated not that long ago. Actual fucking age reveal, I am 18. I know I am still considered very fucking young <laughs> by most of the gods. But like, that's that's the beauty of YouTube, and you don't, you don't gotta know the fucking age of the person behind it. All you gotta know is they make funny joke and they make funny thing. But like, it is awkward as hell. Because, like, I only now realize that, like, a good chunk of VTubers are older than you think. Because, like, I, mean, I guesstimated, they're, like, in the, like, early, mid-20s, maybe late 20s. But, then, like, I see photos of some people VTubing, they're, like, in their fucking 40s. 40s, like, mid-30s, like, it's fine if you are. I don't care, really, but, like, it's kind of weird. I feel like a young, I feel like young blood in the old man's industry right now, which is... Kind of fun to talk about when, when God said it's like it's fucking VTubing. But I'm like, why the hell is it? Why, why is everyone so much older than I thought they'd be? I'm just like, I, I, it, it's okay. Like, I don't, I don't fully care. Look, I never thought that me being like, I never thought, like, the average age of this industry would be above the age of, like, 25. And also, while I'm at it, just spread my shit-ass takes. Can we stop posting just photos of ourselves in that dumbass, um, VTuber versus IRL trend? It's... Not gonna end the way most people think it will. Because part of the charm of VTuber uh, is that you can imagine that they are who their avatar says they are. Let me explain while I just real fast think this through. Let me explain what I mean by that real fast. Just after I think. Thing is for Calma, it's I'm. Should I? be kind of useless and eh, why not you for like a vtuber they don't have an actual face associated to it when you watch a vtuber you're watching their avatar do the talking for them their model do the talking for them so when you so it's easier to fill in the blanks it's easier to imagine that that is who they really are because you have no other option. Your brain just has to accept it as fact. But when you go and post an actual fucking photo of yourself, like IRL self, not only are you giving more info about yourself to the internet, you're also just making it easier for people to kind of just breach the parasocial out of the relationship just actually stop thinking of you as you and not your fucking avatar as you intend for it to be. I know it sounds weird when we talk about this and all that, just it's been bothering me for a while because most people don't seem to understand that the whole point of being a VTuber is that your actual face isn't associated with it. You can still go out in public and not get recognized. You can still do most things without being seen. Hell, that is the goal for most VTubers, is to get away with as much as they can without actually showing their face. I've seen, like, VTubers fucking walk out 
appearing of just their model showing. But like, just by showing photos of yourself, even if your face is censored, that's not... You're kind of defeating the whole purpose. Well, in my mind, at least. You're kind of defeating the whole purpose of being a VTuber, in my mind. And it kind of shows that... Hmm. Can't really say that, as that comes off with two accused of Tommy. But like, it just doesn't look good. That's what I'm saying. Kind of shows that you have zero faith that your model will actually do the talking for you. Yeah, for you. And then instead, you have to physically show yourself. Like, part of the reason why I became a VTuber is because I don't want my face on the internet like that, you know. Just privacy concerns, basically. Now, of course, my face gets out to the internet, I don't really care. I have an Instagram page where I post selfies, for fuck's sakes, but I'm like... I'd rather keep those two life separate. I remember it when you look up my actual name, you don't see a photo of my VTuber model. I want until so you look up Homie Kane, you see a VTuber model. Don't tell me I actually need to have Fuji and Strip instead of my real name, Mamiya. I hope not. Whatever, no one's watching this. I was re watch this exact clip. Like, it kind of feeds the entire pompous. And it's just been onking me for a while. Just, I didn't want to say anything because the community... <sighs> I'm about to lodge another complaint to like the VTuber community at large. No, this is only on Twitter and this is only from what I've been seeing so far. But it's starting to get kind of toxic. It'd be fun, just like there's people fucking around, having fun, talking about what their favorite waifu, sh waifu um, model set of the day. Now it's stuck to some like people complaining endlessly about some new bullshit. People, people just complaining nonstop about one thing or another, and just I'm not here for that. I it isn't the politest way possible, but I don't think anyone really is because I don't mean to be rude but at the end of the day we're all just fucking streamers we all play video games the funny content everyone has issues in life I'm not saying that just because of what we do as a hobby it means that uh hobby is now irrelevant and that we can't have issues but like I'm just saying that no, there's not really an audience from people complaining. No one's going to watch your stream because of a tweet about you complaining. That's what personal accounts are for. But no, I just see people using their fucking professional VTuber accounts just complaining endlessly about whatever. And I'm just like, that's cool and all, but there's a better way to go about it so that, you know, your whole streamer persona isn't tied to it. Because believe it or not, if you want to get anywhere in the streaming industry, people are going to check your old Twitter account. So there's no, until you're going to check your old socials, especially if you're involved in the social media escape, and you're doing something that wasn't related to social media. Streaming counts as something in my mind that like we relates to social media. <laughs> if you want to admit it or not, we're influencers. We influence. So by just complaining endlessly, all you're going to be doing is shooting yourself in the foot for when now eventually someone looks at your old tweet history says the 15 different times you treated like fuck this random politician in particular and then they just decide you're just not suitable for the position because they rather yet that's not the image they want to go for I'm not saying you have to be sanitized I'm not saying you have to be personality risk either I'm just saying use a personal account for if you really need to vent about something bad happening
Like, I know, like, I already kind of fucked up with how I, uh, talked about kick once or twice, but, like, that's purely because I don't like that. I don't like that, um, stream inside. That's just a personal preference. That's why I stream on Twitch, and I have zero viewers. But, like, the same point I threw out earlier can be just thrown right back at me. At the end of the day, we're all just, we're just fucking streamers. I'm playing Prince vs. Zombies, for crying out loud. Why should my point be taken seriously? It's probably close to stream on my phone. There we go. Like, the same point I made can be thrown back right at me, which I'm not blind to, mind you. Just think more people need to be aware of what position they're exactly in. Just the job title associated with being a streamer. Because being a streamer goes more than just being able to make funny content while playing video game. Whether you want to admit it or not, being a streamer is a profession. For me, I'm treating it more like a hobby because, well, I'm a bad streamer, but like, I'm an amateur streamer. But, like, for most people, streaming should be treated as a profession, and you should treat your Twitter as a way to your network, not as a way just to um, talk shit about your least favorite person of the day. I talk shit about this one issue you think is really important to the grand scheme of society as a whole. That's what streams are for. That's what the hour and two minute mark of a zero viewer stream is for. I say zero viewer, but I know I have one viewer. I appreciate you, random marker. The words of Andre 3000, you don't want to hear me, you just want to dance. So I'm going to shut up now. Crypt that and upload it to YouTube. Just it's like an open letter to of the streamers. Although it's kind of funny that the people I'm actively complaining about just hmm. Same time, people who complain about not really having an audience to stream to. I've seen way too many people just post and complain about how at the end of the streams they see zero viewers in the top right corner, yet they treat it like something bad. Not like it should be, it's just a statement. Yeah, you have zero viewers for now. It's a starting off point. You just started two weeks ago, Shaman. What did you expect? Like, hell, even if you're three months in, you still have zero viewers. That just means you need to try something different. That just means you need to stream a different game, do a different category, try different tags next time. Stagnation is the reason why. Stagnation and novelty. Are uh, both the reason why people don't really have many viewers at any given time. Like, I, for instance, just. Let's just give like a hypothetical example. Just. 
Stagnation, you don't gotta lie about until you're actually very far into the extreme end. Like, most people don't get viewers because they are a new face and a large crowd of familiars. Cause think about like this, you go to like a large ass uh, streaming tag, like a, I don't know, like Fortnite or something about it, and then you look for a streamer to watch. Are you going to click the fucking streamer that has two viewers and two viewers as a very scuffed PNG just highlighting whenever they talk? And they just complain endlessly while making monkey noises. Oh, you're gonna click on the one streamer's name you actually recognize, and decide that's just good enough instead. It doesn't matter if that's just one particular moment of the guy's stream that he just took out of context. You're still the new fit ace in that entire crowd. That's why if you actually want to grow a community and start streaming, you need to focus on like smaller games first. You can't exactly start streaming Fortnite out of the blue and then expect people to watch just because you're streaming Fortnite. That's no longer novel, that's no longer a new thing. People have options and they're probably not going to choose you, sorry. Instead, you just gotta choose a game, you know people... You know, it has a relatively smaller audience, but you know, because of that, it has a relatively small amount of streamers. I'm thinking about like that. Would you still click on the ma guy making monkey noises, cranking 90s, instead of like Fortnite? It's a small game with an active population of 100 at any given time and only two other streamers, both of which in foreign languages. Probably not. You would probably watch the guy making monkey noises. And that is how you probably want a guy making monkey noises, and you liked him well enough, you would have started talking, you would have then, um, just on road, and you would have gained one new viewer that day. And of course, you would also realize that he makes monkey noises because it's funny. Although at this point, this is basically just a fucking podcast with Prince vs. Zombies gameplay in the background.